Marilyn Monroe, the golden girl of Hollywood, leaves behind a glittering and tragic legend. Presentation to the Queen of England was but one climax in a life that began drearily as an unwanted child and ended in a lonely, self-inflicted death 36 years later. A queen in her own realm of entertainment, she was the only woman known the world over by her two initials. A tour of army bases in Korea in 1954 brought G.I.'s the beauty and vivacity that made her an undisputed symbol in her time. As soldiers adored her, so did men wherever in the world her films were played, and that was everywhere. Marilyn Monroe has been dead for 56 years, yet her legend lives on. When the news of her apparent suicide arose, the country was shocked and people wanted more information. Marilyn was found nude, face down in her bed, holding a telephone receiver with a bottle of empty pills beside her. Marilyn had an affair with John F. Kennedy, and they wanted to keep it a secret. If it got out, it would ruin Kennedy's presidential campaign and look bad on the entire family. During this time, Marilyn got asked to sing at the president's birthday. She wasn't given permission by her director to go because they were so behind on filming, but she ignored them and went anyway. Late. Marilyn Monroe. this bubbling comedian brought into the lives of millions, she was seldom able to find it lastingly for herself. Her second marriage to baseball hero Joe DiMaggio lasted less than a year, though he remained one of her most devoted and protective friends. Playwright Arthur Miller was her last husband and wrote her last completed film, but the marriage failed. This is a photo of Mila Monroe at 15 years old. She was then known as Norma Jean Baker. She always knew she wanted to be famous, yet she didn't care much about money. She instead wanted to be known and loved by the world, because she wasn't when she was younger. In her teens, she began doing photo shoots as a pinup model. When she was approached about being an actress, she was told she must be blonde if she wanted to be famous. They also decided that her name must be changed to something more glamorous. So Marilyn Monroe was decided because it sounded theatrical and like a famous name. Many people don't know about Marilyn Monroe's life before all the glam and glitz buried it. The truth is that she had quite the tragic backstory. Marilyn's mother was mentally unstable and was in a mental institution for most of her life. Because of this, Marilyn spent her childhood constantly switching between foster homes. This had a huge effect on her. Her mother passing down her mental illnesses was a prominent hardship in Marilyn's life. August 5th, 1962, the day of her death. According to Marilyn's housekeeper, she was supposed to go to a dinner party but decided to stay home. She told the housekeeper that she was going to bed early, grabbed the phone, and locked the bedroom door. Peter Lawford, actor and brother-in-law of JFK, claimed that at 7.30 p.m., Marilyn called him, sounding slurred. She said, Say goodbye to the president. Say goodbye to yourself because you're a nice guy. And her voice faded out. He didn't know what this meant, but he got in contact with the police. They didn't get to her for at least five hours. When the housekeeper went to check on Marilyn, the door was locked and she couldn't get in. So she went to the back and looked in the window. Marilyn was laying face down on the bed. It was obvious she wasn't alive. There are many theories on what happened to Marilyn. One of those theories is that she decided to take her own life. She may have been going through a manic phase and decided she didn't want to live anymore. She had many pills that were prescribed to her and could have ended it with a bottle of champagne. This is the easiest answer to what happened, and it's what the public was told. However, the coroner's report stated that her death was due to a massive overdose of 47 Nibidol capsules, but there is no trace of drugs in her stomach or evidence that the drugs were taken orally. It looked as though the body had been posed on the bed. 
as her legs are stretched out perfectly. During a drug overdose, your body has spasms and seizures, and it is very unlikely that you will be laying perfectly straight once it's over. Also, key forensic evidence went missing shortly after she passed. All the key witnesses from that night contradict each other, and several have changed their stories. This made the case very confusing, and something just didn't add up. Many people interested in her death are convinced that she was murdered, either by the Kennedys to protect the president, or by someone else who wanted her dead. I understand why people want to believe this, as it may be a more exciting, dramatic, and even a more fitting way for someone as famous as Marilyn to die. We may never know what truly happened to Marilyn, but everyone will have their own opinion. I questioned a few people to see what they think. Here's a clip from one of the interviews. What do you know about her death? Um, I know there's some controversy around her death, um, that there may be some conspiracy theories um, going on with, was she killed, this and that, yeah. Well, do you think she was murdered, or do you think she committed Absolutely. suicide? Absolutely. I think she was murdered. You think she was murdered? Yeah. By John Kennedy himself. And why do you think that? It's fun. <laughs> Along with this interview, I conducted a poll to see what people think. It seems that the general public believes that Marilyn was murdered, and I can understand why. Murder theories are especially popular among celebrities because people like to think of them as interesting in every aspect of their life, even in their death. Whether she was killed or overdosed, Marilyn Monroe's death was a tragedy. She will forever remain loved by millions and remembered as one of the most famous people of all time. Miss Monroe came often to New York, and whenever she made a personal appearance, her fans saw only the exuberant, carefree image she projected on the screen. Her appearances on movie sets or on location were not always so carefree, but whatever her personal and professional difficulties might have been, the world lost something radiant when Marilyn Monroe took her leave of it.